on the eighth day of Dhul Hijjah, on the eighth day of Dhul Hijjah, the one who is intending to perform Hajjah Tamattu', he assumes the Ihram. So on the eighth of Dhul Hijjah, the one who is intending to perform the Hajj of a Tamattu', he places on and he assumes the state of Ihram and then he comes to uh, Mina, typically at Duha time, meaning before Zawal, i.e. before noon. And when he comes to Mina, then he prays Salat al-Dhuhr, two raka'at at the time of Dhuhr. And he prays Salat al-Asr at the time of Asr, again two raka'at. And he prays Salat al-Maghrib in the time of Maghrib, three raka'at. And he prays Isha in the time of Salat al-Isha, two raka'at. And then he remains Mina. That, and then he remains that night in Mina. And then he prays Salat al-Fajr in Mina. And then after Salat al-Fajr, I on that morning, he then goes to Arafah. And then whilst he is in Arafah, he combines between Dhuhr and Asr at the earlier time. I.e. he brings the Asr forward to the time of Dhuhr. And then after praying Salat al-Dhuhr and Salat al-Asr, then he remains in Arafah, in the plains of Arafah until Maghrib time. Until sunset. And he turns towards the Kaaba and he supplicates to Allah in that place. And he can stay at any, he can stand at any place or any part in the grounds of or the plains of Araf. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he never climbed the mount which is known today as the mountain of Ar Rahmah. He never climbed it. And once the sun has set, then he returns back and goes towards Muzdalifah. And in Muzdalifah, he combines between Salat al-Maghrib and Isha, however, at the latter time, meaning he delays Maghrib to the Isha time. And then he sleeps in Muzdalif. And then he wakes up and he prays Fajr at its earlier time. And then the Hajj, he turns towards the Qibla and he spends a long time in supplicating to Allah. And then from Muzdalifa, he goes to Mina. And then he goes to the largest uh, pillar and that is the last pillar meaning the one that is closest closest to Mecca and furthest away from Muzdalifa. So if these are the three pillars that are to be stoned the pillar which is closest to Mecca this is known as Jamratul Aqaba and this is stoned on the day of Eid with seven small pebbles. So on the day of Eid he stones the Jamratul Aqaba with seven small pebbles or stones and then the animal is slaughtered and then he shaves his hair and shaving the hair is better than shortening the hair however both are permitted and then after this he enters into Mecca and then he performs tawaf around the Kaaba seven times and this is the tawaf which is the rukan the fundamental pillar of Hajj no. And then he makes a sa'i, meaning between Safa and Marwa, if he is mutamatte or he has not performed sa'i already. And then after this, he returns back to Mina. And then he remains the night and sleeps the night at Mina. And then the remaining days of Hajj, ay Ayyam al Tashriq, the 11th and the 12th and the 13th, he stones each one of the three pillars. And this is after the Adhan of Dhuhr, the smaller pillar and the middle pillar and then Jamratul Aqaba Naam. and ba each one seven small stones so once he has stoned the first pillar he goes towards the right of the pillar and he faces the Kaaba the Qibla and he makes dua and then he comes to the second or the middle pillar and he goes towards the left and he faces the Qibla and he makes dua then he stones the third pillar and then there is no dua after the third pillar then he returns 